All right. This is Dare, Maryport to this, I presume, is Workington. Like a, looks like an industrial apocalypse from here with all those windmill and smoke chimney stacks. Ooh, that'll be interesting. And then on to Whitehaven and potentially sent bees. It'd be nice if we could make it there today. But we'll see. We shall see. Uh, this is Mary Port. I've really enjoyed it there. I like Mary Port. It's a cool place. Dunlop. <laughs> it's a fascinating change of uh, material there. Uh, interesting. <clears throat> Look at that. Looks like it's been cooked. Some intense heat, like the rock has melted and fused together. Quite possibly it has. Workington, four and a half miles. <coughs> well, yet again, another bridge missing on the England coastal path. We ain't quite, hey, well, you can cross if you want, Rab. Come on, I thought this was supposed to be done, this path. Huh? No big deal on this occasion. I stand corrected. Uh, <clears throat> the place with the uh, windmills and uh, our wind turbines and the chim smoke stack chimneys is uh, a place called Flimby uh, so Workington is a few miles path through here round round the coast all right Rob what's going on here mate Temporary prohibition of pedestrians. Another missing bridge on this, uh, on the England. I'm sure it's, uh, I'm I will look into it once I get a chance. I'm gonna have a couple of days off soon. And uh, I'm going to do some research on what's going on. I'm sure on the website, of this England coastal path, they've said it, it's finished. And that is proving not to be true. Am I surprised by that? Maybe not. But anyway, we'll get there wherever we're going. Uh, 
well it's the most uh unpleasant scenery that we've passed of uh almost like a dystopian image this factory with the chimneys billowing smoke into the atmosphere but even that has its uh kind of a morbid interest i don't know what it is if in a strange way it feels uh it, it's appealing to walk past and quite possibly that's because i'm walking past and i ain't staying here I'm just passing through, you know. Uh, maybe that's where the interest of it lies that I know I'm just going to carry on and shortly I'll have different scenery. like the land that time forgot who just walked over this beachscape if you can call it that it's like the the remnants of man-made shit old bricks and metal on top of a semi-natural landscape i don't know it's a strange one a strange beach Oh my goodness, what have we let these people, these creatures do to our world? Man. We've got these things all over out in the ocean as well. Come on, man. Up your pop. Welcome to Workington. Oh! This way. Well, from a desolate coastline where I see very few people back to the world of adverts and vehicles, <laughs> shopping centres and Costa Coffee where we're going now. We're just taking a slight detour to go, go and grab a Costa and then get back on the trail. A little bit of a treat today. <laughs> Travel Lodge, Tesco. Oh, it was a nice church over there with some like uh, technology on it. Yes. Woo! Felt so noisy up there. It's like a relief to leave the road and get back on the the field not that we're in a beautiful area right now but whatever it's makes me wonder it reminds me of what we become accustomed to in our in the worlds that we live in where normally that that noise you you wouldn't think twice about it that's how it is but because i've been apart from it just for a few days it's kind of overwhelming for the senses and then 
there's rules in Costa, you know, I can't walk on the road with a dog, can't bring the dog in, but the dog's coming in. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, we just become accustomed to these aspects of the modern world, which many of them are horrific, <laughs> especially for those of us who like working on nature's rhythms. That's the, the modern world is the antithesis of that. Whew. It's good to leave it behind, I must say. I like wander off into the, over the fields and up the coast, just with the sound of waves lapping the shore, the bird life. But we've got to wander through all this industrial area first, it seems. Uh, oh, no. Here, we're blocked off. Here's the English course path, and it's all blocked off. And I can see the other sign just over there. So we will be getting through somehow. Let's go and find out how. Okay, we made our way, found our way around the waterline. This is the River Derwent, flowing into the ocean through Workington. Uh, and so right at the moment, they've got a, a full on site, no access, crossing our, our English coastal path but we managed to get round and we're back on track now. Well, here's a, this is a, an advert from the English Tourist Board. Come and do the English Coastal Path. It's all finished. You'll enjoy it. <laughs> yes. becoming a familiar sign this on this journey but, uh, yeah I mean if you weren't willing to cross these things you'd have to go around the roads and pick it up again uh, hopefully that's it for obstructions for the day I love all this like the old architecture and building that people have so skilled and experienced and and then here's your modern world Get out of that wind. Oh, my goodness. Well, I love seeing, I don't know whether you can see it in the camera, is probably about there, it's Mary Port. Looks such a long way off. I love being able to see how far uh, we can walk. Just our footsteps. Uh, we've walked all the course from Maryport and I'll show you where we're heading to. It's a bit windy around here. So this is the coastline we're going to carry on around. That, uh, like centre frame-ish, is St B's head. Hopefully we'll get there today. And somewhere along there will be Whitehaven, which we're definitely getting to today. Now we bugs. So yeah, just put in whew, one foot in front of the other. It's surprising how uh, 
how many paths we can create, you know. It's quite a nice view of uh, the Northern Lake District. The sun's shining on it. This is the Solway Firth. Heading over, I suppose, to the south end of Workington. Whitehaven is the next port of call, which is a little bit further than I'd have liked. But these things I'm going to have to get used to. It seems walking on the coast, um, even though we can see how far we've walked sometimes feels much further than the actual mileage that you're doing up to now anyway i think it's something i'm just gonna have to get used to that phenomenon oh. Listen to those beautiful noises of habitation. It's horrific, isn't it? it? Really is. Like I was saying, especially when you you separate yourself from it for a while, and you seem to distance yourself from all these noises. And they are noticeably uh, not conducive with our nature. Yes, it's a nice day. Well, we didn't make it to White Turban today on this walk. Uh, but we will pick up where we left off on the next episode. <laughs>